My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Monster Train. <clears throat> we have the final of the new champions here. Their name is Little Fade. Uh, the Primitive Mold is also the secondary card. We have seen that before. Reforms a random unit. Uh, what else do we have here? We've still got it in Covenant 1. Uh, I'll be going back to Covenant 25 for the second rotation immediately after this. It's just while I figure out what the characters are because some of them might be a little complex. Or maybe not complex, but not necessarily something I would instantly understand how to utilize. Uh, we have two Welder Helpers, two Wicklashes, and an Engulfing Smoke in the base deck. When you summon the second unit during a turn, gain three energy. With the Imps in the deck, as well as the ability to reform units, I feel like this is really comfy for us. Okay. Little Icarus and Firelight. Spikes one. Slay gain two damage and spikes two permanently. Permanently! Okay. Okay. There's also extinguish, apply five extra damage, one extra health, and two extra burnout to friendly units. That's gotta get a lot better than that, right? Because it's not... I guess it's a floor-wide buff. Maybe you just take it and then build around your minions instead. I'm gonna take little Icarus. Reason being, we have these Welder Helpers, which I think will be able to give the Little Fade a little, enough armor to actually be able to stand around for long enough and do more uh, gaining of damage and spikes. There's also the Primitive Molds we can use to get it back. As long as we don't play too many Imps, that is one thing. The Primitive Molds will get the Imps back also, so I need to manage my death pool very, very well here. Got to get my Wade Wilson in check. Well, I mean, you know, if you don't accept T-Ray's story that he is Wade Wilson. I don't know. Did they ever end up making that officially count? There's, there's a question for exactly one person in the audience at this point. My apologies. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Uh, nothing, nothing? Just, just a big old nothing right now? I guess we'll pop you there. Uh, let's Wicklash and Engulfed in Smoke so we get six damage out of it. Yeah. Nice! That's a slay right there. Well to help you, well to help you. Can Queen's Impling and Reform. We can even put down another Queen's Impling and then get a kill here. Do you want to do that? No, this floor on the top I can handle myself. We'll do the... Yeah, we'll do that on the bottom. Yeah, so we get two more slaves with Little Fade here. I love it. That's good. Oh, no, that gets the kill on the Fortress. Oh, I wasn't trying to. I got the kill on the as well. Uh, that's my bad. I was trying to get two extra slaves there, and I messed it up completely. Uh, Holly did it in the wrong direction. So what do we got? We got three slaves with it so far? It's not bad. I'm gonna Wicklash you. The idea behind that Wicklash is I get that dead and then I get it back next turn. Let's give you a turn to Stealth. Okay, yeah, we did get the world to help it back. Yeah. Not that it necessarily means anything here. Okay, so we got two more slays there as well. Lovely. So five at two or eight. So it's 10 10. Neither of these necessary. Uh, I do like Welder Helpers because they are a really good way to get a little bit of armor on the Little Fade at the very start, but I don't know if I want to put more Welder Helpers in the deck at this point. I think I would need to have more synergy with Imps. To, to really want to do that. I do have a lot of imps in the deck already, so I will take synergy cards with imps. It's just I shouldn't take more imps until I have them. <clears throat> so we definitely pretty much always need a second minion, at least, right? I, I've got to make sure that I don't do what I often do, which is I look at the one interesting thing in the deck and then I try and make everything, make that one thing work rather than make that work with everything else. So what 
can I do here? I could go get some pretty useful, honestly, upgrades on the engulfed in smoke early. Uh, that would be going over here, getting a Hellhorned unit. So let's think, let's, let's think about Lil Fade for a second, right? Spikes 11, one health. One health. So we need to give you an inordinate amount of armor. Or, what's all for us? Or we get you mad buffed and then put you behind someone? Maybe. Hmm. Uh, I just still don't know. This, look, this looks like it has no synergy specifically with reforming, right? We've got Wicklash. Okay, we've got Wicklashes in the deck. That's decent for a reform, at least. Fine. Got Merchant Magic. Some removal. We will cost reduce the Galton Smoke. Plus 10 possibility. Roll. Permafrost. Uh, oh, God. I wonder if I permafrost the Engulfed in Smoke. Actually, hang on. Let's check the next area, right? There's a Hell Vent as well as a Remnant Banner. And Hursel's Horde and Pyre remains on the other side. Let's actually look at the minion first. Demon Friend Horned Warrior. Demon Friend would be a good frontliner for this, but the only problem is, you know, how do I play it? Oh, as long as I play two other minions, if those if those each cost one, that's fine. I can still play the demon friend on the same turn. It's just uh oh, and I get another guaranteed minion with it in the opening hand. So in the opening hand, I literally just need to also draw a uh in the opening hand, I just need to also draw a in or train steward, I guess. Lot of battle enemy and superior on each floor. That is more units for me to try and get the little fade kills on. sucks exactly didn't get the ability to do this can't play the demon friend can't do really much anything here all right i'm gonna pop the little fade down apply burnout too i mean you are gonna be burning out constantly sure so it gets one slay there and then dies If I put that there and then do that, I can get all of these, including the collector, which I think is probably more important than handling this top floor. But I still handle two of them. Okay. Unfortunately, didn't get the ability to reform it in this hand. I don't know. I don't know about this one. Yeah, I worry that we're not going to get... Never mind. Immediately got the right unit back. Thank you. Uh, let's go that. Plus... Double Welder Helper. And get 10 damage through there, so we can only do one at the top. So the goal here is just reform constantly. Alright, completely failed to get the right units, but that's enough to play the demon friend. <sighs> Purifying cleanse, hallowed and molten. Again, not all those. Fortify is nice ish. It's not much. Maybe it's enough. I do like the idea of going and duping the engulfed in smoke, getting the little fade to be consistently, like, significantly smaller. But... Not not smaller, sorry. Uh, the, the likelihood of it dying to be considerably smaller. Rather. But there are so many things that, like, an artifact could do for us. Gain plus five whenever a friendly unit dies is pretty good. We have no tombs in here. Okay. Damn, good to get early. Ooh, purge a spell, get an upgraded version later. Maybe we purge the engulfed in smoke, and then that's ultimately how we win the end, right? Oh, only thing. 
only thing I don't want to get on this is Heaven's Aid. That is the reserve, if you have it in your hand at the end of the turn, that is. Uh, heal for 5? 2? 10? 50? All of your health? It wouldn't matter, I still don't want it. I mean, who's all of your health? Maybe. Maybe. Let's just go with that. Right? Unless I want to start reforming Lil Fade. I do want to start reforming Lil Fade. So the reason I want to start reforming Lil Fade is just so that we can start putting it out the front and having it survive a couple hits. Uh, so that it has the ability to get more slays on a single turn than just by attacking. So that one goes there. The unfortunate thing is how many other minions I have in this deck, right? or in the resolve pool at the moment. I can't just keep killing all my minions because then you go back to the resolve pool and I never get a little fade and then I never win. Uh, little fade actually probably does want to be on the top line now. Uh-oh. Little Fade's on the wrong floor. We're going to have a little bit of difficulty here. Let's just reform the two that are available. Pop that. Uh, I was going to pop both of them down on the bottom line, but let's just pop one of them. Look. If you're not going to die in time to go behind the demon friend, I'm going to need to just buff you anyway. See exactly how this floor with the demon friend does. A lot worse than I was hoping. Uh, oh. See, the thing is. work so the big problem here was the train steward in the front has burnout so all the welder helpers just gave burnout to or gave armor to someone who's about to burn out now what i'm saying here is uh I, I, it's planned that was all planned so i could get more money from the memorial fund by killing all my own units mm -hmm, that's definitely the truth please trust me This would be kind of really good with the other version we saw before. Remove all burnout and debuff effects on the unit. That is to say the other version of Lil Fade that uh, gets better on Extinguish. Uh, remove all burnout and debuff effects on the unit. Or, sorry, makes other people better. Intent on death costs two. It's one of the changes in the patch notes that I've missed over so far. Remove all burnout and debuff effects on a unit. See, I, I like the idea of doing that to remove the burnout from the little fade after I molded it enough times, but it doesn't... I'll take it just in case it can be used for that, but I, I would be surprised. If I manage to, that is. Draw? Yeah, let's go for draw. As much as I want to remove two minions from the deck, we've got two big minions, and neither of them have any changes. Oh my god, quick to you, definitely. I like health on the demon friend. We're all here looking for a multi-strike. Yeah, consumer crowns. It's like, if we play consumer crowns now, we basically just win. So, should I just like up the pace? Swap to a speed runny kind of thing? Same as the other one. 
Yeah, we'll just go harder down this line. I guess we're just trying to get little Faye to maybe 100 damage, and then we just push behind the rest of the safety. Uh, random artifacts mean so much to us right now. Impsicle or uh, Ashes of the Fallen or the little Curly Tail. Uh, I don't know what that one's called, but it is gain an energy and draw a card the first time you play an Imp each turn. It's like an ultra, ultra super powerful version of a different card that I forgot the name of. Ultra super powerful version of different card that I uh, forgot it. Little fake. Little fake down. I was thinking about Wicklash, uh, Wicklash, and then the the debuff removal, but what the. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go queen. We go weld up. And we go consumer crowns. Weld up. The consumer crowns just got so much easier to play with three imps up to five at level uh, couple of twenty five imps in your base deck. Especially because as uh, if if Hellhorn is one of your characters, you have the ability to also get another imp in your base deck. So, ooh, the consumer crowns feels like it's in a really good position at this point in time. It feels like. Uh, a lot of other things changed, and as a result, as a secondary impact, the Consumer Crowns is now significantly better. Okay. See, the thing is, like, the only accomplishment I can make at this point is getting the little fade to start getting kills back. Yeah, if I use a Fortify or a Wickless, that's not going to be enough. At least get one kill there. Wicklash as well. Uh, drop an Imp in front. No reason not to, I guess. Wicklessly recruit you. That means we got another slay. Yeah, one of them managed to target our backliner. And this is the simplest. Mm. Okay, now if we get the consumer crowns all... Well, I mean, we're going to get one of them in the opening hand, right? Now if we get either of them in the opening hand, we can just play them. Just hard play them to the field with the improved firebox. And then get energy back in order to possibly play the other one. Uh, no, not the other one, right? Unless I also played an imp in the first turn. Ah, we'll deal with it later. Momentum Mori. Fatal melts it. We don't have any sweep yet. Like, our pseudo sweep in this... Uh, not the important one. But our pseudo sweep in this deck is the spikes on the little fade. So it's not good. Because only one person usually gets to attack little fade. And then the rest of them are saved. So it's not really sweep. Uh, so fatal melting might help us in that. Regard gain 25 got so I don't know what the second version of uh, this is. Wait, hang on. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I I've got to check. I've got to check. Because is it always called Heaven's Aid? Or did they patch Heaven's Aid to be different? Because if Heaven's Aid is no longer like heal garbage for nothing, be useful. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? No, it's not on this page. That's just the board upgrade page. Okay. There is spell upgrades. Gain 25. So this will upgrade past this to be gain 35 every time I play it, as well as gain uh, zero cost. The card is already zero cost, and I think playing it earlier is probably a better idea. Is it? Do I need to play this earlier or later? Hang on. When's my next dupe spot? Do I have the ability to dupe this in the next area? I do have the ability to dupe this in the next area. And it's where I want to do it anyway. Yeah, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to dupe it. We're going to get a lot of money. Then we're going to use that money to go to every artifact area in the entire game. And just buy them out. Ooh. But maybe it's not another engulfed in smoke and it's a consumer of crowns instead. Yeah. 
No contest. <laughs> yeah, uh... Alright, good game. That one there, and then still not have enough to play the demon friend, the thing I was talking about before. Well... Clash and then your burnout. We definitely have to play the engulfed in smoke every time. Mm. I have one more minion in the deck. Yes, I, I have one more consumer crown, so it's three capacity. So I'll have the ability to play it on the next floor. Fruit, uh. Guess that's it. Yeah, that seems to be all of the prep we can do. Sure, I'll just pop you down there anyway. Oh, just hit him with the log. Him, buddy. Well done. Another intent on death. Another hard pass for us. Uh, infinite box, important work. I, the thing is, the only reason I want another important work is the ability to remove imps from the battlefield so I can put other minions down. But I think that's a good enough reason. It also gives us the ability now, if we see any x cost card that is worth a damn at all? Just take it. Instantly. Snap it up. None of our spells really need an upgrade at this point. Like, they won't significantly change with an upgrade. I could, I guess, double cost reduce or give plus 10 damage to the Fatal Melting or something like that. Uh, Double card remover in that direction as well? No. I, don't, I just don't think that's prevents uh, or presents as exciting as a possibility as the Concealed Cabins here, especially with the amount of energy that can generate. Uh, yeah, none of those are for us. Actually, hang on, maybe one of those is for us. Specifically, Endless on a Welder Helper. So I have the ability to use the Important Work Welder Helper, Welder Helper, uh, sorry, Welder Helper, Important Work Welder Helper. Get a bunch of armor on a little fade, maybe, by itself in the top line to just catch extra units. Crazy things have happened. Demon units get more. <laughs> Yeah, all the consumer crowns have triple multi-strike now. Uh, focusing on little fade at all at this point would just be wrong. It, it just, it's no longer a good idea. We are so far past. Society has regressed past the need for little fade. We're a consuming crown society now. Summon Blinding and Looming. Looming is in Cant and Rally. Okay, so I've got to keep in mind not to run. Uh, run up against those. Rally. I do need to get more imps out for the possible future consumer crowns. Or for the important works. Although that will, yeah, encamp my whole hand, unfortunately. I'll play that for nothing. Then I'm any important work. Increasing the cost of this important work. I don't really care. Uh, then I'll play a train steward here. That gives me enough energy to play the demon friends. Okay. Yes, we can still play that on this floor. At this point, I am very much just trying to get all of them out of my hand. Oh, and dazed my bottom floor. 
I somehow completely ignored what I was doing there. I mean, it's okay, because the rest of our floors are still set up to deal with this. Yeah, double Wicklash. Yeah, I still play the engulfing smoke there despite its effects. Again, and then remove it. Sure, I could have played the fortify there, but um, I'm going to take a wild guess that it's not going to make a difference. Uh, we need capacity now. Yeah. Yeah, Aloe of the Ancients is totally reasonable. Uh, and then we go capacity. Capacity is so that we can get the two... <laughs> uh, so that we can get both of the consumers of crowns on the same floor. Alright. Such summon ability to trigger additional time. Thank you. Apply days to enemy units when they enter the room below the pyro room. That's actually really interesting because that would be where I would then put the two consumers of crowns, right? Uh, so that... Uh, I mean, yeah, the two consumers of crowns, enemies are effectively dazed anyway because they get to the top floor and they're dead, right? So let's reroll. Uh, spells get an extra upgrade slot. I would take that if I didn't already have the engulfed in smoke having three upgrades. Uh, because this won't give me a fourth upgrade slot. It will just justify the third upgrade slot that we already cheated out. From the unit center with the rage three. I mean, that's nine extra damage on a quick unit. So it's 27 extra damage on a consumer of crowns overall. Seems pretty poor. Especially considering I've already seen Resonating Shard, the other one that increases the amount of damage that each rage does. I actually may save my money here. Uh, we have no one healing naturally at all, right? No. I can give Little Fade some actual HP here. Yep, we're all heartless now. What have you got? Extinguish, plus 20 damage, plus 5 and plus... Same as the previous one, I don't think. A uh, little Icarus. Boom. Yeah, so with this money, uh, eventually we're going to figure out what we want to do with the deck, and we're going to cut every card that is not the thing that I want to do with the deck. So the imps do remain in that. That seems that seems like an interesting way to get this done. Any excess damage just goes to the little fade, and then eventually it ends up dying, and I just bring it back with a reform. I'm really liking it. Ooh, fade actually prevents us from killing with it. Uh, thankfully, it's not going to matter on the next floor. Like, we still get him. I'm not scared. Imp back. And spray back. And armor. Anything else? Let's just get rid of the extra two train sewers there. The train sewers definitely need to be removed from the deck. Like, it's, it's becoming increasingly clear. Removal, burnout, and debuff effects from you, right? I removed Heartless! I can heal again! Huh. Neat. Hmm. 
I suspect I may have not played this as well as I possibly could have. We've only got one consumer of crowns down. I don't even know that's going to be enough. It will be. It will definitely. Okay, yeah, not even close. Give him the absolute business right there. We've got uh, officially way too goddamn much money. It's too late for you, friend. Right, it's too late for all of the rest of you as well. None of you are another consumer of crowns with two upgrades already. Ah, but we could get one. Get another one. All right. Double stack my consume removal on the ancient, uh, the yellow of the ancients. Not bad. Uh, cost reduce that. Also going to cost reduce fatal melting and the reroll cost reduce fatal melting again. Shame that we got the double stack afterwards for the, the fatal melting. Actually, Honestly, I shouldn't need the armor on them after all of this. Oh, you need to get that tree upgrade slot. That sucks. Flicker's Liquor might help us in the opening hand. Actually play out all the minions. Conserve energy for new turns, obviously. 50% chance we we'll play days whenever they enemy train up. If we do that, we actually may be able to set up on the bottom floor. But yeah, at this point, we should definitely just start... Get another engulfed in smoke. I like it. And then just start burning out every card in this deck. So, number one, goodbye, train stewards. Two, goodbye, train stewards. Three, I'm probably going to get rid of that train steward down there. For a novelty here, I'm actually going to remove a train steward. And then primitive molds because... No need to have that if I don't have any train stewards to get back with it. Clearly my only target. Uh, move home. Oh, I mean, that, that's going to remove my spikes. Oh, it was never going to work. Good thing I built in so many different directions, just in case. Fade. Demon. I mean, can't mess with what works, you know? It's 400 damage to the boss this turn. I mean, now that I've played both the Consumer of Crowns, I think I need to have imps anymore. And I do ideally want to, like, run out that middle floor so that the Seraph the Chase spends more time on the bottom floor. Oh, hardcore got him. Remove half the stacks of myself. Feel free. Still going to stealth more than you. extra damage there. Oops. Golf and smoke. Oh, you do go to empty floors. Interesting. Guess a little bit more armor. Oh, right. Never mind. I can use a form to get that and then kill it. Form and do the same trick again. Oh, yeah, there you go. 
actually going to get the extra five damage there because I don't know if we would have won without it. Five damage coming in clutch. Go King Simpling. Important for another card. All right, eight stacks of stealth. Let's see if it's enough. Oh, did they kill the boss? I didn't see. They were uh, perfectly stealthed. It's a good run. I, I I really would have liked this run to be on A25. I I I really wish I knew how well this would have performed at A25. But now having more familiarity with each of the basic characters, we are going to have the ability to go and do that for ourselves. Uh, so tomorrow should be the first in the stuff of that. Uh, actually, before you go as well, I know this is the end of the video, so I might actually edit something, put a comment at the bottom or something like that. Uh, but I'm currently doing the publisher streams for the Monster Train devs, Shiny Shoe. So I will be doing some publisher streaming for the next three days. I'll be streaming at 6 p.m. CD, six, no, not 6, 7 p.m. CDT Central, right? Yeah, I'll be streaming at 7 p.m. Central both today, tomorrow, and the day after from the day that this is uploaded. So that will be over at twitch.tv slash goodshepherdentertainment. That'll also be linked in the description down below. Uh, but usually I stream for a couple of hours before or afterwards on my own channel, twitch.tv slash uh, You can also get all of the information for when that goes live and such over on my Discord. Discord's linked in the description down below, as well as Twitter, where I will be announcing it in each of those locations. So yeah, if you want to see some, uh, some gameplay of friends and foes over on the publisher stream, that's where I'll be. For the moment, hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you at the stream.